you like to know how easily you can change the gate post of your fence to a beautiful real brick column? Hi, my name is Laszlo and in this video I would like to show you how we make a brick column with thin brick veneers and then in order to do that we framed out three of these beautiful columns equal size, five feet tall and then we put uh, cement backer boards I put a half inch cement back backer boards on it and then as you can see the inside is made with a metal frame it's a one inch tube that we just welded it together and uh, I adhered uh, the cement backer boards on the top of it with uh, self-tapping screws and this is the outcome and then the next step is going to be uh, to put the corner bricks with thin set I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute Do, uh, the bonding agent because these columns are a little bit dusty uh, and then just to uh, kind of soak up and uh, bond uh, the dust on the surface I'm using bonding agent this is a blue bonding agent I'm just gonna put it in the tray it's a liquid bonding agent and I am gonna have a, a roller and then with this roller I simply roll the bonding agent on the top of the surface and then it's gonna ensure that your brick is not gonna fall off on all sides as you can see the good thing about this bonding agent is that it's, it's kind of uh, still see-through so you can see your uh, chalk lines underneath for guidelines and then just simply do the whole, all sides, all four sides, same way. I'm gonna show you how to install these uh, thin brick veneers. We are gonna install L-shaped corner pieces. These are cut from the real antique clay Chicago bricks and uh, I'm gonna show you how to install it in a minute but first I wanted to talk about the thin set. I'm gonna show you how to butter the bricks in a minute but before that I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a trade secret and that is the consistency of your thin set mortar. I would recommend you to mix the thin set into a thick peanut butter consistency because that will allow you to adhere the brick on and it's not going to move down and then you're going to keep it straight every time. Okay, so you uh, get your margin trowel and then with a little clean swoop or sweep you just butter the big back of the thin set, back of the brick with the thin set and then you can this is ready for installation as you can see i laid out every second course of these veneers and all you have to do is put the brick wiggle it on a little bit onto that top the top is going to have to match to the line where i just uh, outlined for you and on the other side you're going to have to do the same thing we frame this out so we're gonna have a, a small joint on each and then the next course is gonna interlock to these two courses or two, this is the long leg of the brick and there is gonna be the short leg and then we're gonna put a regular flat piece underneath. I'm gonna show you just in the next step. The best to do this with uh, one partner and then your partner is buttering the brick 
and then you are simply doing the installation. You can do two ways. You can start with the corners first, the long corners, and you can put it, let's say three, four courses, or you can do, you can go all the way down with the corners. And then you can do the other side, and then it's gonna be even sized joints every time. Just nicely alternate the corners easily. You can see, and then just keep it level every time. And then later on, we're gonna put the flats and then the flats are gonna go in between the short legs. And then every second course, the flats are gonna be in there. And then on, of course, on the other side, you're gonna see the other side of the corners. Okay, we have installed all the bricks on all four columns and we finished the last ones. I just wanted to mention, if you happen to uh, find a ruler in uh, Home Depot, this is a handy tool to the layout and then you just mark it every five or every six and that's gonna be the top of each course. And then you just mark it out every second course and then that's how you, we did it. Uh, to the line, the top of the brick, always to the line of the, the layout. Okay. okay the next step is gonna be our grouting, and we are gonna grout gray. I'm gonna use M type gray mortar mix, and uh, because I'm grouting with a bag, I add a little bit of a hydrated lime, but. If you don't find hydrated lime in Home Depot, you can use a little bit of a, a soap, a dishwasher soap, and then you just put it in the mud, and that's gonna lubricate your uh, grout bag. Okay, this is the grout bag. You can buy this in uh, the material section in Home Depot. All you have to do is uh, wet the inside of the bag a little bit, and then uh, step on the end, and then you, uh, have the premixed mortar, you just put it inside the grout bag, like so, like maybe halfway, so it's not gonna be too heavy. I always cut the end of the grout bag off a little bit, like an inch, so you have a, a bigger hole at the end, and then you twist it with one hand and push it firmly with the other hand, and then just like this, Simply grout the lines, just like frosting on a cake. Very easy, very simple. And twisting, twisting when it runs out and gets a little loose, you just twist it a little more so the bag is always firm. And that's it, that's how it is. You have to wait a few minutes and then uh, what tool to use to make it a little bit of concave uh, look. Okay, after grouting all the joints, you have to uh, wait maybe uh, two minutes, but don't wait too much because you see this one is already getting a little too hard and then you have to have a con concave uh, tool just like this and then just simply do some uh, scraping out or concave it to uh, the style that you like. And then later on, we're gonna get a stiff brush. I'll show you that step as well. And then we're gonna brush it. And it's gonna look super nice. As you can see, it's almost uh, done. It's coming along really nice. One last step. And then maybe we can put a cap on the top of it as well to show you how it looks when it's done.
types of brushes. One is the stiff brush to take out the bigger mud and the boogers out. And then, as you can see, this uh, stiff brush leaves a little slightly like the brush uh, strokes on the on the mud a little bit you can see it and all these little boogers that stays that's what uh, the stiffer I mean no, the the soft brush comes in handy for so you can take all those little boogers out and then soften it up a little bit so it's nice and 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 uh, it, it cleans up very simple and easy you don't need to use a sponge to clean it because that's gonna leave a haze on the top of your brick just like this brush it like brush it hard with the stiff brush up and down back and forth and then maybe a minute later you can just use the use the soft brush when it's almost dry and then clean the excess mud and all the little boogers off the off of the uh, the joints nice and easy beautiful This was a custom job we had to do in our shop. If you would like to do your own column posts with thin brick veneers, just give us a call. We manufacture thin brick veneers in 30 colors and we make custom colors too. Until then, happy bricking.